Today, we're reviewing the Nest Temperature Sensor Generation 2, which we've got right here. It's updated with a new sleeker look than the previous generations, also takes less space up, and it's got this little hole on the back to mount it on a wall. Now, what this is designed to do, it allows you to monitor the temperature in other rooms, and it will report back to the Google Nest app and the Google Nest thermostat, which we've got right here. So when we scroll down to sensors, what we actually will see is that this sensor is reporting at 68 degrees right here and the thermostat itself is at 72 and that's because I had this in a different room. But what you can do with this is actually hold the temperature of your HVAC system to wherever you've got this located. So I can have my HVAC system heat and cool to make sure that the office is 68 degrees rather than the Nest thermostat and wherever it's located. And where I find that very useful is if you put one of these in your bedroom and you like to sleep cooler, you could then make sure your bedroom is cooler than the rest of your house by having the temperature held to wherever the sensor is located. Now you can select both the thermostat and the temperature sensor at the same time and then it's going to average out those temperatures and try and hold the temperature sensor and the thermostat at right around 70 degrees. Or you could switch off of the sensor and just have the Nest thermostat hold to its internal temperature sensor wherever it's located. So it just gives you versatility to be able to hold the temperature in another room as well as monitor the temperature. And what I found is really nice is if you get one of these and put it throughout your house, you can then adjust your HVAC vents and how hard they're blowing and close or open the dampers to try and more evenly balance your house using the Nest thermostat and a temperature sensor so that the entire house is closer to, let's say, 70 degrees rather than it being 75 in one room and 65 in another room. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the Nest temperature sensor and we'll see you next time.